no audio, it's because sometimes there's no audio in this game. I cannot change that. Also, I'd rather have the audio too low versus too high because this is one of those games where for whatever reason the in-game stuff is like a different audio channel than the cutscene stuff. There's no settings. There's nothing. Just start the game. Oh no, dead bodies. Whatever shall we do? Okay. Give today. Have you ever donated blood? Uh, I have not. I have not either. I have, I have a problem with needles. I probably shouldn't. Oh. <sighs> there's a there's a blood drive at work every year. Yeah. Where they if you give blood you get like I think it's four. Eight, you get uh, four hours that you can use over the next few weeks off. Um, Sweet. Oh, no, it's a blob. But it's a blob mirror. And now we've been transported to a di transported to a dinner table. And now I need to play the game. This is the game, Justin. I'm not kidding. This is the video game. How how is your life? Look look around the FNB. Uh, it's, I mean, it's going okay. Okay. Uh, I so can't turn. Off. Let's just go through this door. Okay. Ah, there's something on the floor. Check it out. It's a bug. So we have two hours. There is a fan mod that gets rid of the scan lines. The people who made that fan mod are fucking cowards. Let's say, why would you do that? Already knee deep in insanity. I want weird Japanese shit. Give me the weird Japanese shit. Okay, come on, let's open the door. No weird psychedelic LSD trip. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? The door is locked. So let's go ahead. Can't open that door. Gosh darn. Whatever shall I do? Let's go left and move forward. I would like to get to the second act of this game. Um, in part because the second act of this game is fucking wild. Oh, voice acting. Laura. Laura. Yeah. That's her name. Laura. This is your father. Oh. Laura. Go back. You must not cross over to this side. This is another world born of my own mind. Laura, go back. Come further and your world will be closed off from you. Laura, I'm... Okay. Well... So we met our dad. It's a major plot point. Uh, do you feel enlightened? 
not terribly. Uh, uh, there's no way for me to speed this game up. Call what you want to. This is fine. Here for the D. D for dad? Yep. You got it. Nice one. Okay. So we're going to go to the second floor. We want to find the TV. Or not the TV. Um, the drawers. Ah, yes. There's the drawers. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's go... No, just... <sighs> no, fuck. God damn it. How do I open the drawers? No, look at the fucking drawers, you stupid... Mm. I hate how this game controls. Have you beaten this before? Or, or played it? I've played it. I've never technically beaten it or gotten what is considered the canonical ending um is it a number key that you can push ah space bar okay. what a what a fucking great system so we want four and then we want two and in that specific order otherwise we will get the bad ending there's nothing in four Okay, we've got a thing. Let's check the rest. Mm. Ah, letter. Look at that. Let's check them all out. Nope. Apparently, the guy that directed this game, like, passed away a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, he, uh, tragically passed away or, uh, a few, a while ago. He's only, like, 40-something years old. Yeah. So he, uh, after D2 and a couple of his other projects did not do well, he basically noped out of the video game industry. Um, the weird thing is, is that he ended up making a lot of music, and in domestically in Japan, he's considered, like, this auteur in the music scene. Wow, that's those are really my options in terms of... Okay, so how do I get to that fireplace? I guess I'm going to move forward here, then turn. Turn. Don't go through the door. Just turn. Yes, thank you. There we go. Um, but yeah, apparently his music is beloved in Japan. Okay. Hey, look at that. We found a key. Ah, oh, well, you look at that. Anything else? No? Okay. There are puzzles here. They're bad. Like, really fucking bad? Like... Is this, the, is this the worst thing you've played on stream? No. No, that, that Kamigawa visual novel, that Magic the Gathering visual novel was uh, bad. It was one of the worst things I think I've ever played. And I did not have the pleasure of being able to stream Unlimited Saga, but boy howdy, that fucking game, huh? This game is just like a weird art house experiment, is how I would call it. Yeah, it doesn't look like a great time, but I, I, I respect it. Yeah, like if you if I were sitting here reviewing it, I'd be like, this thing's trying stuff. It's not any good, but it's unique. Let's look at the mirror and see we revisions. 
and doubt our sanity. Oh no! It's just uh, weird that somehow they went from this to D2, which uh, Braden played. I can't emphasize enough how cool I think it is that this even exists on GOG. I believe this was a Saturn title. Yeah, it was. I was looking it up just now. Apparently, it was released on MS DOS. Yeah, okay. Back in the day. So, yeah, it's a DOS box game. So, like, genuinely, no, you have to use the fucking key. Use the fucking key. No, turn around and... Fuck! How do I use my inventory? Like, I don't think we talk enough about... Okay, maybe it's this other door. Getting a fail state in this game is almost more entertaining than being able to meet the time limit. Because the game is so fucking weird. Okay. okay, use the key. Please use the key. Use... We have a key. Use the fucking key. Use... The Wipe. Ah, it's I for inventory. I was going to suggest that, but I figured this game was too old uh, for that to make sense. <laughs> but... I man, man. Oh God damn it! Just go, just fucking go, go, please, please walk faster. Oh my God. No, fuck me. No, no. I want you to get to the door, but I don't. Just turning around. Just turn around. Okay. How do I use? Okay. <sighs> do I select the item and then use it? I. I, I. I'm, I just Googled it. Like, can you pull up your inventory with I and use space to pick an item and then push enter on it? All right, let me try. <sighs> this game not having a menu. Creative decision. Terrible. Okay. Okay, it's space bar on a usable object. Okay. And that was the wrong door. You didn't break the key or anything, did you? Oh. Yeah, that guy's dead. Yeah. That's, uh, that's no, no bueno.
Oh, hey. It's a safe. Uh, fun fact, the uh, solution to the safe is found nowhere in the game. So I'm just going to look this up. No. Okay. No. Is it just a... Uh, no, no, something? no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Oh, it's a fucking slot machine. You fucking cocksuckers. It's 78. No! Fuck you! I hate this. This is awful. No! <laughs> This is the worst shit. I I I Fuck me. God, fuck. Need seven and what else? Oh. Eight. Seven and eight. The last reel moves backwards. A certain, uh, a specified number. God damn it, no! Oh. God, no. Oh. No, no! No! How is that not it? Got it. Okay. So we have to see one. Fuck, that's not gonna get it. You have to do the first one again. Fuck, you have to do the first one again. No! Fuck, fuck. me oh great I finally got it all right got it I didn't need to do it in order it's a fucking hand just pick up the fucking ring you dipshit I got the ring 
How are we looking on time? 20 minutes? Uh, we're fucked. We've got so much more of this game left. You... Hmm. Uh, this game's bad. Uh, surprise, surprise. I need to find the barrel room. Okay. I think that that was the room right next to the stairs, but before we enter the stairs. Who has joined us? Braden has. Muted. Braden, you're muted. Maybe you're eating food. We're not I'm very... Back. Hi, had... Bray Bray. Turn right. Call me that, you clown. I'm going to call you that however many times I feel like it because I'm the one playing D the game. He has left. Okay. First. Nope. I'm looking at the wrong part of this barrel. Okay. Whatever. What have you. Okay. Let's use... The barrel opener. Okay. Ah, yes, I disabled the trap by using a barrel opener on whatever that shit was. So, Brayden, can you talk more about the developer of this game? He well, left. Oh, he left? Okay, great. Mm. This is a wonderful educational service that, uh, you know. He is rejoining. Oh, all right, do you want me back? Yes, I do want you back. Brayden. Oh, hello, Chris. Zombie Pyrodactyl. Please talk about the developer of this game. I mean, so... The maker of D. And D2. And D2, and uh, Enemy Zero because they're, they're all the same. They all star a weird blonde woman named Lara. Uh, a digital actress uh, were made by Warp Incorporated and Kenji Ino. And in a lot of ways, Kenji Ino is kind of the precursor to a lot of the you know outspoken, eccentric Japanese game developers. Kojimas and your swearies and your let's say circa 2000 but with literally Itagakis. none of the name recognition as some of those people yeah well yeah part of that is because uh all of their games were moderately unsuccessful um you know uh warp only had a very had a very small team Looking at the Giant Palm Wiki page, and it says uh, Warp basically only had five developers, including uh, Fumito Ueda, who is responsible for a little game called Eco. He apparently trained a lot of important people. Yes. And also, I guess after D2. The company changed their its name to Super Warp and abandoned the video game industry. Mm hmm And then, yeah, he Kenji, you know, basically stepped away from making games. Uh came back late in the odds. Making kind of smaller iPhone games. And something called You, Me, and the Cubes, which is a Wii Shop game. Uh, and then he, he unfortunately passed away at a fairly young age in 2013. But yeah, D. It's a... It's a weird... Because, because when you think of this, when you think of the, the CD-ROM era, when you think of uh, 
Oh, wow, we have all of this storage capacity. What can we do with it? You think of FMV games, right? You think of, yeah. think of what if we put real actors? They have a whole 700 megabytes. Whole 700 megabytes and the worst compression algorithm as possible. Um, so you need five of those suckers. Uh, but yeah, D D is special, I think, because it's coming from the Japanese side of things. It says to spin this around three times. And this game is... To its credit, fucking going for it? Yeah, this game tries. This, this game came out a year before Toy Story. To put that in perspective. Two years before Toy Story. No, it came out the year of Toy Story. It came out in 95, apparently. So, imagine. Uh, having this quality of graphics on your 3DO computer entertainment system. Okay. Apparently, I need the deer picture. Don't we all need the deer picture? Just a very obtuse design, let's just say. Just very, very weird design. Listen, you only have so much space for all that FMV. That's a horse. And you gotta make the game last. So what better way than to put a hard time limit on the player? Which, um, I've said it before, getting the bad endings better than playing this game realsies. I got the bad endings in Corpse Party. Oops, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Well, let's approach this object. You would think that if, like, the objective is to be a weird, like, vision simulator, like, weird shit simulator, that they give you more time to do that. Yeah, the good ending in Corpse Party is when I said, I don't want to play this anymore, and I stopped. <laughs> okay. Uh. It's all about you. Obviously. Yeah, it is. It's my money and I want it now. I'm going to call JG yeah. Wentworth. Give it to me now. Is there a good ending in Corpse Party? Technically. That's what I just said. Please just... Sometimes it's not clear how you navigate this world. I want to look at those statues. Probably some weird shit's going to happen. Or maybe let's look at this nudie picture. Nope, you're not going to let me look at the nudie picture. Give me the statues. Let's look at the statues. Hey, guys. What kind of wonderful part of history can I glean from you? Nope, it's just statues. Okay, cool. Yeah, but imagine how many hours of rendering time it took to make those statues. In DOS? Probably a lot. <clears throat> you have to assume they had like a Silicon Valley or a Silicon Graphics machine, right? 
Mm-hmm. These were made. This game was made on Amiga Four Thousands. Is what I Fantastic. was reading earlier. Uh, I mean, in the late eighties and early nineties, Amigas generally were considered very good. I am video computers. Editing oh yeah, computers. Oh yeah, like yeah, the video toaster. Um, okay. Have you ever seen the OS that Amiga used? It looks like a decade ahead of all the other OSs that were out at the time. Yeah, but see, it's funnier to talk about the Amiga in the context of it being a thing that uh, people in the UK care about. They're like, Oi, I love me sensible soccer, mate. The Amiga, Amiga also had a very active demo scene. It still does. Yeah. Um, uh, I like. I've seen it running, and it's an OS I'd like to mess with. I don't actually want to use it for much, but it looks okay. Let's like for something that was out in the eighties. It looks kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's check out this weird room. Okay. Um. I think I have to... Uh, what do I use this key for? I've got all these keys. What do I use them for? Oh, I need to use it in those drawers in that candelabra desk. Go to the candle desk. No, go to the fucking candle desk. Oh, are we really... Game, are we really going to play this bullshit of, like, I don't know how to get to you or get to this location? Want to go to the fucking... Okay, so you're just going to do that, huh? Ah, it was this screen, and only this screen that allows as an access point to the desk. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm not close enough. Uh, now am I close enough? Ah, okay. I see. I see. Oh shit, it's a book. I like how, yeah, Laura just looks at every item like it's an alien object. Yeah, it's good. And that continues into D2, to be fair. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. I think D2 is better than D1. That that says a lot. At least your game was, uh, functional. Yeah. I... If I recall correctly, we have to use this book on a bookshelf. Except I forget where the bookshelf... Oh, it's right there. Okay. There we go. Okay. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Just. Like, there's times where it's like, just turn right to face that thing. Oh, no, wait. This isn't the right screen for you to turn. Turn. Oh, oh, oh. Apparently, Mountain Blade 2 hit 1.0. Great. Um, it's been like, I, I forget. Years? Yeah. Are the developers also, like, weirdos? I mean, it. it's the original developers. It's Tail Worlds. Which I believe they were originally based in Turkey? Okay, wait. I'm getting a cutscene with my dad. Like, the original Mountain Blade was... Um... Made by a husband and wife team? Laura. Hmm. Laura. What are you doing? Oh, no. My dad. Go back. Now. Stop me 
Is this game at least more respectable than D2? Leave the hospital. I mean, it doesn't have you fighting a naked mutant clone. Like, the one thing you can say about D the game is that nothing plays like it. Nothing is like this. So, um, I saw a Thor High Heels video. About what? It just came out. Uh, just called Mysterious Horror Games. And there's a game called Juggernaut mm. that uh, appears to be kind of in this vein. Except mm. it's like 12 hours instead of two. Oh, fuck that. And it's two CDs. I think this game is like two as well two or three um i think i'm technically on the second disc because that first room is the first disc okay secret door Rolling star. They don't know. Let's go away. They don't know. Okay. Uh, this is where we're possibly going to die. Okay, we're gonna try and beat a knight because at least we can see how this game does action. So we are now in the uh, elevator, and by adjusting this wheel, I can go to different parts of the environment. Uh, most of the time, uh, it's just gonna be a wall where I can't do anything. Like for example, it's a, it's a wall. So let's go to the knight's room, which I think I seem to recall this is like 10 turns. I think it's 10. One. Let's actually, uh, that's three, right? I think so. <laughs> um, I'm doing something else while watching you. No this. problem. I don't blame you. It's not like this is a rip-roaring success. Like, I am watching it. I'm not ignoring it. But when you started counting, I was like, okay, I'm going to go pay attention to something else for a second. There should be a chest here. And we should get something here that I'm going to need. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Now the game will get good. And by good, I mean... I, I'm just saying, so I think I think the, the highest praise I can issue D2 is the the sheer what the fuck is going on quotient that game has. And a lot of this is comparatively mundane. Okay, I guess, yeah, we have to do something different here. Okay. Let's not, let's go back up. Fuck. If, Forgot if you're in DOSBox, can't you use save states? Uh, this is through GOG. I haven't messed with any of GOG's DOSBox stuff. Yeah. 
you have to go to the knight's room then. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay, use the crank, please. Laura. God damn it. Laura. 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 Did they just, like, record it? A guy Laura, seeing Laura once and just use that every time. No sure seems like it. Man you know. I can feel my controls slipping away. Quickly, before that happens, you must leave. DP, has, have you seen? I want you of all people to be safe. Uh, important updates. What? Laura. Tell me. Uh, uh, so, uh, Chloe can... Grace Moretz, uh, tweeted, why hasn't PlayStation brought back the PSP? Question mark, question mark, question mark. That thing was so fun. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, she, she quoted, and then, uh, she also, uh, started to ask about how to build or... a, uh, custom PC with gaming rig. Five. Yeah, just get just get a uh, Henry Cavill or Linus or Linus Tech. Tips. Yeah, Sir Linus Tech Tip. The end all be all of Tech. She's Seven. Linus Tech Tips. I mean, kinda. I mean, yes, he's a good channel with a lot of a stuff in it. Um, Nine. Speaking of YouTubers that are in super huge. Oh yeah. He has like he went he had a video not so long ago. Ten. Um again, like a carnage. Not going through his house, but going through his, his studio where he introduced uh a lot of his employees. He has like dozens of them. Oh yeah. No, it's it he has turned it into a whole business. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Living his dream. Living his best life. Okay, I have to... I need you guys to be a little bit quieter because this is going to involve an action sequence. In fact, I'm going to take my headphones off. Okie dokie. And I really don't want to fucking have to redo this. Fuck, I hit right. Okay, well, that was detected as a loss. Cool. Fuck off. Okay, well, failed one check, but I at least got his sword. Um, if I fail one of these action sequences, I have to start from the beginning. Just like Dragon's Lair. Well, there we go. We we defeated the knight. And again, you can't save in this game. Go back. Okay, I have another important Twitter update. What VTuber bullshit are you obsessed with now? Um, I don't even mean that as an insult to you. I don't know why I insult you so often. Why do you tolerate this? Uh, someone called uh, Dr. Disrespect Yeah. Um, says, ahem, 
Go get a life if you think S B M M belongs in pub lobby. Where? What is your stance on important skill-based matchmaking? Twelve debates where a bunch of shit for brains streamers are like, I don't want skill-based matchmaking because I want to pope stomp all day. One. People don't want to watch me lose. I'm saying I have a deep amount of contempt Two. for that stance. I, I have been put in seed games with, uh, with uh, diamond players, Three. and it's it's not it's not fun. Four. It's not perfect, but five. Oh. Remind me where we're on level five. She's wearing a pretty short skirt for this. I mean, as far as uh, female video game protagonist skirts in the 90s goes, that's it's somewhat generous. She's not wearing Lara Croft hot pants. She's not wearing Daisy Dukes. <laughs> okay. Um, how much time do we have? You've been going for 50 minutes, so you still have like an hour of game. Um, I was wondering if we had enough time to look at the statues, but let's stick the sword into there, into the door. Because when I am an office lady and I'm presented with a medieval sword, I automatically know how to use it. Okay. Um, I'm going to need a pen and pencil. So, we're going to have to set those statues to colors. I'm going to maybe need your guys' help with that. Okay. Vision issues. Okay. Are you colorblind? No. I just have issues with dark. I, I mean, yeah, this game, the way this game is interlaced yeah. definitely makes the entire thing look darker than it should be. I mean, it successfully does look like a VHS recording of an E3 from 2001. You're, you're right. This is just the MGS1, the MGS2 trailer. Okay. Um... Ah, yes, let's use a telescope. Or let's look at the stars. Okay. Please use? Can we use? Okay. What? Okay, red. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna have to fucking identify them. Okay. Do you remember your symbols for your um, horoscopes? No. Nope. Pisces is two fish. I'm going to look this up. Would you guys be against me looking this up? No. Yellow for whatever that symbol is. Okay, cool. 
Okay, we need Sagittarius and Aquarius. Okay, let me look at them. I think I know what they are. Uh, okay, obviously the wavy sign is Aquarius, right? I think this is Sagittarius. Green. Okay, so Sagittarius is green. So when we see a uh, centaur-looking dude, green. Okay. Let's look at wavy lines. Cool. Use the telescope. Light blue. Okay. We're good. Oh, God damn it. Okay. How you guys doing? I'm, I'm doing great. How many games have My you played? My mom did not die in the frozen roads. How many games have you played in the past two weeks that are better than D, the game, Brayden? Um... Is this game better than Resident Evil Survivor? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I would rather play Resident Evil Survivor than this. Is this game better? Right? No, no, no. Than... You you gotta answer. Don't fucking uh, John Kerry flip flop. Not answer the fucking question. Oh no, no. This is. Uh, is this worse than Survivor? This is probably worse than Resident Evil Survivor. Yeah, because it's barely a video game. It's a interactive uh, CD ROM experience okay okay so did you say survivors only like 90 minutes long yeah i apparently turn left i, I was please. like more than halfway through that game you should finish it oh but then i'd have to start over oh wow um okay that's what? one way to put a finger <laughs> sure Yes. Uh, Click I the have button. Important news. Um, if you if you get this season pass for uh, Marvel Midnight Suns, uh, it includes uh, just characters. push the fucking button. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. You press the button. Good girl. Are, are you excited for Marvel Midnight Suns, the new game from Firaxis? I did not see the most recent trailer of it. Did they show gameplay? I, I think I think it still has cards. Uh, okay. More importantly, they they announced the season pass content. Got it. Okay, we push the buttons. Um, and it seems like it's going to be four DLC packs. Great. Uh, each adding at least one new hero. Okay, uh, so now we can get the chest that had the pointy poles that would have killed us. What if I told you that one of them was Dr. Michael Morbius? Okay, I'm down. Let's do it. Um, can we do a watch party for Morbius? If it's on Amazon Prime, then yes. Can we please watch Morbius? We can We can legitimately do a... Actually, you might need to be a Twitch partner to do that. Oh, do a watch party. But if not, if you have Amazon Prime, you can, in fact, do a watch party. Uh, yeah, that's. I watched Rings of Power with some friends via watch party. Unless you're planning on streaming your reactions to it. Okay. But. It's also on Netflix. So I'm sorry to count again to disturb your guys' thought process and your 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 chi. So six. That's okay. I'm just thinking about Doctor Michael Morbius. At least, at least Matt Smith's agent Seven. finally got him something worthwhile. Um, that hot D. What about eight. the part where um, 
was it Warner Brothers? We released Morbius. It was Sony. Sony. We released Morbius to theaters because they thought it would Nine. sell better the second time. Because it was getting mean so much. Yeah. And then they made zero dollars almost. Yeah. yeah. Ten. Oh, they absolutely lost money. Man, that makes me so happy. Eleven. Like, I, I cannot emphasize enough how... Twelve. How fucking funny that is. One. I just realized Call of Duty comes out tomorrow. Two. For Friday. Oh, God damn it. Three. All right, we gotta rush a little bit. I'm not very good at having the end part of this game, so I kind of need to go a little bit faster. A little less talky talky. Okay, we need to get that chest. I shouldn't have even fucked around with that chest in the first place. Oh, just go. Just walk, like, at a reasonable, brisk pace. What part of this house wants to fucking kill you? Don't you understand, lady? So why... Oh, wait, never mind. You know, I was about to ask why is she here, but... Her, her father... Forgot. Open the chest. Hey guys, this chest has a fucking gun. Da, 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 da. Okay. I too put flintlock pistols in my. Okay. Um. Let's be a little bit quick about this. Go back up. No, go up. This game. This game makes my blood boil. Laura. Okay, cool. We get a cutscene with our dad. Laura. Which is counted towards your time. And I think that's bullshit. Laura. Laura. Hey, Dad, it didn't work the first time. Just give up. Will be transformed. When that happens, my new self will have need of you. Chris, are you interested in Victoria 3? I am. Uh, it sounds like it's a little poopy right now. Control. Oh, you, so you're saying it's a paradox game? I'm saying launch? it's a paradox game. Also, things. it's really hard to get emotionally excited Laura, about a Paradox game when you know three months here. from now they'll completely change how to play he it. Wants you. Uh, okay. okay, so we're at three because we picked up the gun from the chest. <laughs> One. Or sorry, four. Five. God damn it. Six. Okay. Ah, yes, the window room. Cool, look at this beautiful fucking stained glass work of art. Let's shoot it. Yay! 
Yes, this ancient flintlock pistol is still functioning. That's not how and, guns work. And, and safe to shoot. And safe to shoot. And also apparently shattered that glass window without any, like, shards sticking up or anything. I see. I love that. Because it, it, it's just, it's the most video toaster. It, it's so... We have, we have the technology. Okay. I was going to say, if I forgot something and have to do redo something i'm gonna lose my shit Ooh, hey legs okay a long time staring at that those window doors Okay. I mean, this is very impressive. Laura. 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 Come to me. The one who I am to become needs blood for the change to be blood for the blood god. You have seen what skulls for the skull do. from, and it is your blood that he wants most. Sitting here looking at Fate's game, thinking about buying it. We are cursed. Oh, you mean the one of the best games of this year, Justin? Blows the yes, blood. One of those. Yeah. But I have so many other games I want to play. Oh shit, guys, you just missed the plot twist. It's actually about fucking vampires. What? Yeah. Vampire Hunter D? You have to move forward again, or is it just. Let me see what I did, Let's see what I did there. There was a secret door. If I go forward, you die. Obviously. Of course. I should have known. I That part of this game pissed me the fuck off. So I'm going to read this part of the guide because um, I think this part of the game is impossible. In the second secret room, a strange machine is placed. Your task is to turn the shifts the right way so the red dot on the left wheel will be seen through the right wheel's hole. To make it as easy as possible, turn the shifts like this. M is for middle. Up is up. D is down. PB is push button, which for me is shift. Um, so it's middle, middle, push button, down, middle, push button, middle, middle, push button, up, middle, push button, up, down, push button, middle, middle, push button. If you do this incorrectly for three times in a row, the game will kill you and you will have to start again from the beginning. Fuck that. So. So wait, what? Okay. Turn the shifts the right way so the red dot on the left wheel will be seen through the right wheel's hole. To make it as easy as possible, turn the shifts like this. M is middle. Up is up. Wait, what's up is... What the fuck? Game? What the fuck? What? Hey, this guy just sucks. Okay. So, 
Middle, up, down. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, fuck me. How's your day going? Uh, so it's all right. All right. Played a bunch of Metroid Dread today. Replayed that. that that's a fantastic that game. game. That, that game on hard is quite hard, unexpectedly. Up, down. Like, take off an entire energy tank with one hit from a regular enemy in a game where I've got like three energy tanks at this point. Oh, I see. Okay. So, okay. So, down, middle, up. Oh, I see. So, middle, middle, push button. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Down. Uh, middle, push button. Middle, middle, push button, up, middle, push button, up, down, push button, middle, middle, push button. Okay, are, um, so when I, Braden, have you ever played this game? No. Okay, so this is why I kept saying, boy, the second game sure does not make sense. So. Some stuff's going to happen here. Mm-hmm. D was inside us all along? Sure was. Um, so it turns out Laura's a vampire. Right. The, the, Nani? Yeah. They're all vampires. She's a part of uh, the last... She's She and her father and her mother are the last vampires. Wait, wait. Chris, are you saying that this game, yeah. with its countdown... Is about vampires? <laughs> huh? Huh? Okay. Well, let's look at this painting. This is our mother. Say hello to mom. Oh, it appears that uh, you all are getting an ad, which is disappointing. Oh, okay. Now... Are you watching this? Can you see yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. Is this a trachea? Is yeah. This, uh... We have to realize that there's no blood running through her veins because she needs to suck blood because she's a vampire. Okay. I love, I love video games so much. So now we need to confront our father, who's trying to become the next Dracula. 
This is the actual thing. This is he, He's trying to become the next Dracula. Dracula died, and our father is trying to become him, the, his successor. Yeah, Soma Cruz, I understand. No, Soma Cruz is trying to stop Dracula after he summons the giant temple. Listen, just because Soma Cruz is Dracula. Now I will tell you everything. Shh, the story. Me and leave before the one who is not you can emerge. Laura, in our veins flows the blood of Dracula. So we are like offshoot relatives of Dracula, but not Dracula. So D2 doesn't in any way address the fact she's a vampire, right? So D2, from what I understand, like the idea is that Laura is a digital actress. Mm. And all of the so D, Enemy Zero, and D2 are all basically different games she is starring in. Ah, so it's like a game within a game. Yes. And now you know you must leave. I feel myself changing. Oh, this is my favorite scene. So our dad needs to become Dr Dracula. This is one of the greatest scenes in all of video game history. Oh. Uh, uh. What is happening to your dad now? I want your they use the liquefied... Listen they used the liquefied tool on me. No! I need, just as you needed your mother's. Come to me! So we have two choices. We can give ourselves to our father and get the bad ending, or uh, we can use the fucking gun and shoot him in the face. Shoot, shoot your dad. dad. Overcome your father. Just look at this dopey ass yes, gun! This this flintlock pistol that you haven't reloaded. We killed Dracula. I love video games. So like, now that we've pretty much established how to make a video game here in the year 2022. Is this a video game? Will we get anything like this weird again i think if you I go to itch.io there are plenty of games that are that oh okay you know what i wasn't thinking about itch.io laura you've ended thank you a little more and the change So he goaded us in saying that we're responsible for the death of our mother, you know, miscarriage shit like that. Uh, your your dad was evil, lady. So that's the game. I'm enthralled. That was D, the game. I'm glad it exists on GOG. I'm glad this thing is legally accessible. Are you glad accessible. that Night Dive got the rights to re-release this? I'm, I, I, I actually would say I'm happy that this, this exists. Did you know that you can, that limited run games did a print run of copies of this for the 3DO. Oh, please listen to the music right now. Okay. 
It's what? like the worst version of ACDC. Why? Because we just killed Dracula, bitch. This is a co complete clash with everything happening. We in the fucking whole shot Dracula in the heart. It's time to I rock. Know, but shot me in the heart. And they're too anyway. Yeah, you um, give love a bad name. Yeah, no, I know. I. Kenji Ino. R.I.P. Tomohiro Miyazaki. Theme music performed by Moscow Festival Orchestra. Hmm. Remember to donate whatever you can to the to support Ukraine. Okay. Uh, acclaim. You made video games at one point. They sure did. Who sold oh. it up acclaim? Thank you for playing our game. There are, however, things in it you have yet to see. You may want to try again. Please try again. Uh, no. No. Oh, you don't want to play this wonderful game again. I can see your desktop now. Oh, yeah, I know. You can see that I've been trying to get um, KOTOR Knights of the Old Republic 2 working. All right. I remember Relkin had trouble. Yeah, it's still so. a fucking nightmare. Wait, does, does the Steam version not work? I thought Obsidian it, updated it. It does. It, it just it doesn't play nicely with to OBS. OBS. Oh, have you tried shadow play? I'm not gonna fucking play that shit. Fuck. Uh, what should I play next? Cause that was only an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What else do you have available that you're interested in? Nothing. Uh. I'm to play Total Warhammer. You know why that would be a terrible idea. Because I'd be sitting here judging you. And also, I don't want the drive-by people. I'm going to kill the stream and see if I can find something I can play. Stick around. All right. Oh, I think I know something. <laughs> 